Hi, uh, my name is uh, Dr. Charles Harry from the University of Maryland, and this is Cybersecurity for Everyone, The Fundamentals. So cybersecurity is one of these topics that a lot of people talk about. You hear it on the news, uh, you hear maybe even some of your friends talking about it as they read some article in the newspaper. The question is, what are we talking about? What is cybersecurity? And so this question, this fundamental question, is an area that frankly many of us are confused about. So how can we maybe demystify this subject? And that's the goal of this course. We will talk about what do we mean by cybersecurity? And maybe the first place that we should focus on is really a definition. What do we mean by cybersecurity? It's usually a good place to start. So the way I like to think about cybersecurity is to break it down into individual words. And let's define those words and maybe we can get a better way to think about this problem before we start our long journey on talking about the threat actors that are out there, the internet, all the various uh, tools and techniques that hackers use. So let's start off with the very first word, cyber. What do we mean by cyber? And if we take a look at just a, you know, a, your, your normal dictionary, something like the Webster's Dictionary, we get some sort of definition that looks like this of relating to or involving computers or computer networks. And that sounds reasonable, right? Because when we think about cyber, we tend to think of the person in their parent's basement with a hoodie over their head, uh, working away on their laptop, some brilliant hacker. So of course, cyber has to be about technology. So is it only about the technology? That's the question. And in fact, when you take a look at some of the historical representations and definitions of cyber, we get a slightly different view. So let's define the term cyber. How is cyber different than other terms that we often hear? Terms like information assurance or information security or even things like cybernetics or computer security or something as generic as IT security. How is cyber different? And if we actually explore this term, if we explore it and take a look at some of its historical roots, we start to figure out that cyber is actually something a little bit broader than just the technology. So cyber really evolves historically from this larger field. And the larger field was often termed back way back in the 1940s, cybernetics which dealt with the field of control and communications theory, whether in machine or in the animal. And that sounds like a really, really strange quote, but what we're talking about here is not just about technology, not just about the machine. We're also talking about the animal or the people. And so this term, starting all the way back in 1948, is evolves and in, in morphs itself over the years and eventually becomes popularized in a novel Neuromancer that maybe some of you have actually read or had the opportunity um, uh, to review in the past. But this ability to blend technology with people is what starts to make cyber different than IT security or computer security. It's broader. It's this confluence between technology, human beings, and human organizations that really make it different. That's why we talk about cyber instead of IT security or computer security. It's different. It's about this complex system and this interplay between technology, people, and organizations. So yes, cyber is about technology. And that's something we're gonna talk a lot about through this course. We have to talk about things like laptops, application servers, databases, smartphones, sensors, networks, and even autonomous cars, something that we're looking forward to over the next 10 to 15 years. But cyber is also about the humans. It's not simply about technology. It's about the hobbyists, the people who just enjoy playing around with technology. It's about the social activists that are out there who might want to leverage computers and their insight into organizations uh, how to advance their personal agenda and their organization's agenda. It's also, also about criminal syndicates who want to leverage technology and their insights about people and their failings in order to obtain more money. 
It's about intelligence operatives, people who work on behalf of other nations, who are interested in understanding a variety of secrets about other nations. It's about the technologists, the people who are deeply embedded in the technology who want to defend networks. It's certainly about the policymakers, the people who have to make the rules, the people who help govern in this space. And certainly it's about corporate executives and corporate leadership. They're the ones making decisions about where to spend their scarce resources to defend networks. So cyber is not simply about technology, it's also about the humans. But cyber is also about the organizations. Things like corporations and water treatment facilities, electric companies, maritime transport companies, rail, and certainly nuclear power plants, and many, many more. So it's not simply about the technology. It's not just about the computers and the software that's running on those devices. And it's more than just the, the humans that are, that are operating those particular machines but they both come together in a broader set of organizations. And that matters. It matters because when we talk about things like an attack surface, the broad array of devices and vulnerabilities that hackers leverage and exploit, we have to think about humans and machines, how they work together to produce a product or a service. And that helps us understand where our vulnerabilities lie and where the risks are to all of society in some cases. So cyber is complex. Yes, it, is, it includes technology. It's hardware and software running on various devices. But it's also about the people, technologists, executives, public officials, and the hackers themselves and their motivations. And finally, about the organizations, the private and the public sector. When does the cybersecurity issue become a public concern and not simply a private problem? How do we make that determination? So these things come together and it moves us beyond simply evaluating the technology. Cyber is much more than the ones and zeros that we often hear about in popular media. It's about the confluence between technology, humans, and organizations. So it is not standalone. We need to think about this holistically. So if we wanted to come up with a working definition of cyber, and certainly there are lots of different definitions that exist, one in particular that I, that I like is from the Public Safety Board of Canada. And it really emphasizes this interaction between humans and technology. And the idea is that there's an electronic world that's interconnected, filled with networks of information technology. But in addition, it's a global commons where people are linked together to exchange ideas, services, and friendship. And I think at the heart of this definition, it highlights what we've just been talking about, which is that cyber is a issue of complexity between technology, individuals, and organizations. In this video, we've talked about the term cyber and how cyber is much more than simply about the technology. It's about technology, individuals, and organizations working together. In our next video, we're going to talk about what we mean by security. See you next time.